Once again, I want to continue our series in what does it look like to be healed from homosexual confusion? Well, if you are pretty much down the road in that regard, the mind and the heart and the perspective of Christ now consistently guide you rather than your own mind, heart, and perspective. The behavior associated with arrested emotional development has also in decreased considerably. You see, in the person whose sexual identity is broken or unformed, their emotional growth is fixed somewhere in the 10 to 12 year old range. You may be 35, but emotionally you're still 10 to 12 years old. This may have been the result of sexual abuse or other trauma, or it could have been the result of failing to receive the proper elements that nurture emotional growth. For whatever reason, they remain pre-adolescent in how they process the world emotionally. Pre-adolescent kids generally perceive things as all or nothing, black or white. They tend to see life in tragic, melodramatic forms, and they often engage in outrageous behavior in order to attract attention. I know I was like that when I was 10. They employ magical or fantasy thinking, where unrealistic expectations are projected onto God and others. In the healed person, romance and reality have struck their happy balance. An understanding and appreciation of the complexity of life has blossomed. The self-centered, impulsive, impatient ego is now regularly submitted to the Lordship of Christ. In the healed person, an intimate connection with God has grown to such an extent that they think his thoughts after him, knowing what he's going to say before he even says it. They experience his heart for others, see things through his eyes and with an eternal perspective rather than a temporal one. In short, they have not only grown up emotionally into a mature man or woman, they have taken on Christ's mind and heart. Their thoughts and actions are now tempered with the self-giving, sacrificing nature of God himself. They love others because they, the love that they've experienced from Christ compels them to love others. May we all experience such a healing as this.